T Grizzly. Miss Evans Part 2. All right, shout out to my comment section. Y'all wanted this. How the thing go find Mr. DJ back in the building? Is this going to go over my head because I didn't check out Part 1? But anyway, T Grizzly, you've been on my channel before. I was always supposed to check out some music from you. From what I know about T Grizzly, you guys have been telling me in the comments that he's a good storyteller. The dude is one of probably the best new school storytellers out there. So let I'll be the judge of that. Let's run the truck. She get a little thought of something happened. He won't run his mom. She get a little thought of something happened. That nigga stamp in the door and he don't even know it. But she gonna keep it professional. She can't even show it. He doing everything right. Just gotta keep it going. And Mike want some updates. Nigga low key annoying. Step thinking like it ain't time to give him the real. He buttered her up. Now it's time to go in for the kill. Fuck the bet. At this point, he doing this shit for the thrill. School over. She leaving. He about to get on her heels. Hold on, they missing something. They feel like they missing something. Miss Evans. This, uh, wait, 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 wait. Why have you got a school setting background? Is Miss Evans the school teacher? Hold on, Curry. Is Curry a student? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Back up. Now it's time to go in for the kill. Fuck the bet. At this point, he doing this shit for the thrill. Fuck a bet. He doing it for the thrill. Did somebody bet him? Is this a correlation between a student and a teacher? What's going on? Over, she leaving, he about to get on her heels. He like Miss Evans, you about to drop me off to where I stay at. Kinda turned her on, cause he told her and ain't eggs. He playing games with her. She ain't tripping, she gonna play back. Like, okay, I'll drop you up at home, Mr. Maybach. Damn, son, where'd you find I sorry, <laughs> Miss Evans, you look no eyes. I if I had a school teacher like that, boy, I ain't gonna tell you no lie. This take me back to like the what it was in the newspaper they had. Y'all they there was a meme floating around like a couple months ago with this school teacher with a, a art school teacher where parents was like, nah, she a little too curvy to be teaching art. But I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you can't knock the sexiness of the teacher, man. If she wanna keep her body right, I mean games where the scene tripping she gonna play back like okay i'll drop you up at home mr maybach steph like how was your day it was cool how was yours he like better now that i went too she like boy you a baby what am i gonna do it too steph watch that game boy is it better now that i'm with you all right steph you got some game in your you got some sugar on your tongue big man how was yours he like better now that i went too she like boy you a baby what am i gonna do it too steph like girl stop it only baby here is you but you my baby nigga try to holler at you tell him that that's my take then he put his hand in her T, T Grizzly, I gotta say so far, the word playing this and how you setting this up, like, boy, you a baby, the only baby in here is you. I like the word play, T. I like the word play, and you telling the story, you telling the story definitively. Baby, nigga try to holler at you, tell him that that spot taken. Then he put his hand in her panties, got her thigh shaking. Woo. She like, boy, knock it off, you must want me to drive crazy. I'm trying to see you ride crazy. But she ain't stop him. He kept going. She started coming. Miss Evans tripping. She going against her better judgment. She look at Steph like, little nigga, you better not say nothing. He like, bitch. She pull over. They start fucking. He got her gushing. Giving it to her and she love it. They going crazy. Must have forgot they was in public. But she ain't tripping. She know that Steph ain't gonna say nothing. She turned around. Gave Steph everything he wanted. And School teachers are freak, eh? All right, Miss Evans. You like rocking the cradle. But then she might be young as hell. Because if you, from the looks of this, I mean, let's... Let's keep this conversation realistic, right? We ain't trying to go with minors against teenagers, and we ain't trying to make no excuse for that. If you over the age of 18, you're dealing with someone under the age of 18, at the end of the day, no matter, regardless of the position or how close of an age gap it is. But let's say if this dude was maybe 19, you know what I'm saying? This could be a college. I don't know if this is a college or a high school compound, but let's say for sake, he might be hitting 18. He might be the legal age, quote unquote. She might be 21, 22, fresh out of college. Teacher at a high school. You, you, wonder, you see where I'm going with this? Like, because <clears throat> think about it in the real world. If I am 30 years old and I dating a girl who's 27, most people wouldn't blink an eye at that. You see what I'm saying? So it's like 18, 22, but at the end of the day, teacher, student, all fucking wrong. Came at the same time. Damn. Steph whispered in her ear, you like that thing mine. She dropped him off, he called Mike like nigga game time. You lost a bet, fuck tomorrow, send my change now. Nah. Nigga, Mike said you capping. Steph like, give me a second. I'm finna send a video, nigga. Look at this message. He get the video. First thing he seen was Miss Evans. She throwing it back. They going crazy in the laces. Mike oh. like, oh, hey bro, I'm about to cash up. You know cap, bro. You the goat. Steph like deleted, bro. He can't nobody know. Mike like you already know. Already gone. Time passed. Steph Evans still fucking. He lying. He boy lying. Say so you already know it's already gone. He still got the video in his phone. Mike kind of jealous. She made him look like a fucking clown. If you get at the age, come on. Uh, 
I like the story you tell them too because you a lot of, mind you, at the end of the day, you're young, you're dumb, you make mistakes, you learn, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I could see two mistakes already being made in this. Let's go. Turn Steph all up, he dubby now. Mike get his phone, then he see they telling each other, I love you now. Mike see her in class, like, hey, beautiful. She like, Mike, not today. He like, what I do to you before you answer? Look at this video of you and dude. Now, if you don't let me fuck, I'm gonna ruin you. Steph walk in, see your. Say, nah, if you don't let me. That ain't your boy. First and foremost, that, that nigga right there, would you call your boy? He ain't your boy. Get rid of him. Crown, what's going on? Mike, like, I just showed this bitch that video. Steph swing on him instantly, like, nigga, you a hoe. Do another one and miss. Mike slammed him on the floor. Teachers rush in, like, stop, break it up. What's going on? Mike, like, Miss Evans, tell him why we fight and let him know. Teachers like Miss Evans, why they going crazy throwing blows? Mike did them both, so the teachers, what was in his phone? Seven months later, Miss Evans locked up with an open case. Mike and Steph changed schools, they can't even show their face. Every night, Steph praying for her, hoping she's okay. She gonna be out, they gonna be good, he gonna keep the face. She wrote a letter, she like, Steph, I hope you doing great. Why you send that video, you did me wrong, babe. But listen, I ain't gonna say too much, cause ain't too much to say. These people gave me 20 years for statutory rape. I wish that this was all a dream and somebody could wake me. Two decades, a long time, I don't think I'ma make it. Ain't plan on talking to you no more, cause you played it crazy. But I think you deserve it, no, I'm pregnant with your baby. Damn, damn, now I wanna know, I, I waiting for Miss Evans part three. This dude is good. I ain't gonna lie, this was fire. Y'all say he's one of the new school storytellers and the way he told this just now, it's got me feeling like I just watched a good episode on Netflix and I wanna see the next episode. That's how you do a storytelling. Like you, especially if you're doing a one, two episode like this now, from hearing this, I ain't ready to go check out Miss Evans part one to see what I miss. I don't think I need to react to that one. But if y'all want me to react to that, let me know in the comment section. But I definitely got to drop Miss Evans treatment when that one drop because this got me interesting. High school student relationship with a teacher. And the thing about this, it sounded like it started off as a bet, but then it became something actually more like she sounded like she really had feelings for this dude. Like he sounded like he put game on her till whereas in a way he kind of had feelings for her. I don't know if I'm missing something in part one. But it does sound like, babe, just from, like they say, she messaging him, he's swinging on homeboy because, babe, dude, delete the fucking video, bro. Like, so I give your boy Curry wrong for one for even the desk. Like, even if it was a bet, my whole thing is, you should have wait until you see your boy to show him physically out your phone. That's rule number one. So if you could take the evidence first and foremost, which I give you wrong for, I don't know why people take videos and shit, but whatever the case may be. You should have been smart and say, well, at least let me show him in person rather than send him the fucking video. First and foremost. That's where you could have only have the only file, the only copy, the only evidence, period. Second of all, like I say, your boy is a whole straight form. I, I, I glad he swing on him and he showed that, yeah, but he realized that that's a whole ass move. So, T Grizzy, I approve of this one, bro. Nice storytelling. H.O.T. Peace out and wealth. Y'all stay filled. Be grateful. Peace out, y'all.